The Colorado Department of Labor and Employment says tonight it is writing off more than $60 million in overpayments. The huge sum was paid out last year to thousands of Coloradans who had applied for unemployment. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss is here. And Brian, you've been digging into why so much taxpayer money is simply being written off as gone. Well, the short answer from the state is that it is not cost effective to try to claw back all those millions of dollars. So for the time being, they're just going to let it all go. This is absolutely ridiculous. We first learned about these overpayments when we talked to Kathy Morissette of Golden. It should not be this difficult to give somebody their money back. The state overpaid her more than $8,000 in unemployment benefits last year. But when she tried to return the overpayment, the Department of Labor and Employment said, no thanks, keep it. If they forgave me for their error, then are they forgiving everybody? When we dug into that question, we found out the answer was yes. Many of those overpaid during the pandemic are getting a free pass. From March 2020 through the end of the year, newly obtained figures show the Department of Labor overpaid more than 30,000 claims, overpaying more than $61 million. But rather than try to get it back, the Department of Labor is writing it all off. The department declined to be interviewed on camera, but they said it would cost more to try to recover the millions than they would get back. And they say the overpayments will be spent in the local economy will help struggling businesses, and writing all that off will do a greater economic good for the state. And I knew it wasn't my money. Kathy Morissette says all those millions are real dollars and believes someone is left holding the bag. Unless they have a huge slush fund that they can write these things off with, that gets passed on to somebody. Now, in 2019, the state wrote off about $19 million in overpayments. The Colorado Department of Labor says the large amount of overpayments we're talking about is to be expected given the unprecedented number of claims during the pandemic. So, yeah, Brian, just a staggering amount of money involved here. Any possibility as this goes forward, any penalties against anyone involved? Not really, because the U.S. Department of Labor uh, says that what the state is doing is acceptable. They say states can write off these overpayments, especially if they were not the fault of the unemployed workers, and if taking the money back would cause a hardship yeah. for those workers. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You got all this money <laughs> deposited in your bank? What it's do you do with it? It's a great question. Yeah. That's one of the things that we asked the uh, State Department of uh, Labor and Employment. In the words of one administrator, he says, just pay it forward. He suggested the people who got this overpayment leave big tips at restaurants, use the money to help charities or the homeless. The state's position is that these overpayment dollars will actually help boost the local economy. So they say, just go out and spend it. Yeah, the money's out there now. It is. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Brian. All right.